Hi, Sean Stribble, Warranty Manager at Charleston Homes, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about our acrylic shower units and also the tub shower units. Uh, these units are very durable, um, however, you want to use non-abrasive cleaners when cleaning them. Any kind of abrasive cleaner or cleaning cloth would actually scratch the surface on the units themselves. Um, I want to talk a little bit about um, how the water, uh, the channels, and, and how it all works in uniform. So on the shower units specifically behind me, we have the one piece being the tub itself, has an ailing flange around the perimeter, and then the drywall um, butts up to that. The shower walls come in three pieces, so you install the back piece, and then the two side panels, and then those are fastened to the framing members in the home. So the channels themselves are not designed to be caulked. Um, they interlock in such a fashion that any water that gets into that channel will drain out this perimeter on the bottom where, where the tub base or the, the actual tub and the sidewalls meet. Now that being said, there is one area in particular and that's from the front edge to there's a small little uh, drip area. And so it's about four inches in, in length that there is actually um, on install sealed up with a silicone uh, caulking. And that basically keeps the water from channeling out the front of this unit, possibly getting behind the drywall and then damaging um, um, members of the, uh, the wood framing or the drywall behind the wall that you can't see. Um, if you ever suspect or see any areas that, that might appear suspicious where the paint's kind of bubbled or the trim board's losing its paint, you want to check for a maintenance item and that's just making sure this four inch strip on the edge of the tub is sealed with caulking. Um, where that little drip drain is, basically you don't want to have that completely filled with caulking, but you want to have some caulking in there. And what that does is allow that moisture or water that's in these channels to funnel out and at the last resort drain right to the edge of the tub. Um, otherwise, any water getting behind these channels will actually self drain. As you're cleaning for maintenance tips and household you know, cleanliness, um, when you're doing your cleaning, just make sure you kind of clean that channel out. Um, we have seen over time, if, if you're not wiping that underside lip, uh, a little bit of a, a slimy kind of film gets built up there over time with shampoos and soaps and things like that. Going back to the unit itself, it has a non-abrasive, uh, non-skid surface on the floor of the tub. Um, you never want to wax or polish that per se because it can become slippery and actually a hazard. However, if you wanted to um, kind of get rid of some of the hard water mineral deposits that may accumulate on the shower walls themselves, you could get a, a non-abrasive uh, like a car wax and just apply that on the unit just like you would your vehicle, not with a buffer but by hand and you can actually wax the sidewalls of the shower and restore that luster or that new, new look finish. Um, again, very important not to do the floor because that would become a safety issue, become slippery, but the sidewalls themselves, if you got some uh, hard water mineral deposits built up, just recommend like a, a buffing type compound that's non-abrasive and just use that. But anytime you're cleaning these, you just wanna use like a terry cloth type material, maybe a paper towel, um, and then always test your cleaners to make sure nothing's gonna you know, be too uh, corrosive on the units itself. Um, but they are acrylic units and very durable. I wanna thank you for tuning into the blog today. If you have any questions, check out our website, charlestonhomesomaha.com. Thank you.